Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this very very exciting video of trigonometric equations, we will be solving sin square x equal to 2. While solving this problem, we will use trigonometric identities, trigonometric formulas, trigonometric manipulations, we will use complex number, we will use quadratic equation, we will conclude our results and graph also. So let's get started. I will begin with the range of sin. As we all know, sin is a trigonometric function which is periodic with period 2 pi, range is minus 1 to 1. So let me draw it. Simple graph, sinusoidal waveform and important point is its range is in between negative 1 and plus 1. Now squaring. So once I will take the square of that, so if you will take the square of negative number, it will become positive. So negative 1, it will convert 0. Nothing will be below x axis and 1 square will become 1. So if I will draw it, so it will look like, like this. Okay. So now easily you can conclude its range is between 0 and 1. Okay. Now just observe the right hand side. It is 2. A line which is parallel to x axis intersecting y axis at 2. Now you can see the left hand side we have got function which is in between 0 and 1. This is our graph of left side and right side we have got this horizontal line which is having y intercept 2. It is intersecting y axis at 2. This is 2. So no real intersection or no intersection. So no real solution. This is what we will conclude. One thing is clear. No real solution. So we will talk about complex solution. Done. So now I will write left hand side is sin square x equal to 2. Now I will convert sin square into cosine form means I don't want a square. So what I will do I will write cos 2 theta or cos 2x the three formulas double angle formula 2 cos square theta minus 1 1 minus 2 sin square theta and cos square theta minus sin square theta. So I am using the second one. So from here I will calculate sin square x. So that would be 1 minus cos 2x. Okay. So sin square x it will be equal to 1 minus cos 2x divided by 2. So let's put here 1 minus cos 2x divided by 2 equal to 2. That means 1 minus cos 2x equal to 4 or in other words I can write cos 2x equal to negative 3. See same question it can be framed cos 2x equal to negative 3 or sin square x is equal to 2. Both are same questions. So now we have to solve cos 2x is equal to negative 3. Now Euler's identity will come into the picture. Why? You can see it is 3i square complex number. So I need to consider Euler's identity which is very very powerful in case of complex numbers. What is that? e raised to the power i theta is equal to cosine theta plus i sine theta. For principal value, for general value, Theta will be replaced by theta plus 2k pi where k is integer. Okay, done. Now, I will write e raised to the power minus theta. So, that would be equal to cos of minus theta is cos theta. Sin of minus theta is minus sin theta. So, it will become minus i sin theta. Now, my target is to find out cos 2x. Okay, means cosine term, cos term. So I will add both the equations. So 
so right hand side it will be 2 cos theta left hand side will be e power i theta plus e power minus i theta that means cosine theta is equal to e raised to the power i theta plus e raised to the power minus i theta over 2 okay so as per our equation i can write here cosine 2x so i will replace theta by 2x so it will become e raised to the power i 2x plus e raised to the power minus i 2x over 2 so let me write directly minus 6 that 2 will come to the right side or multiply the both sides by 2 you will get minus 6 in the right hand side okay now i am going to substitute e raised to the power i 2x equal to t so our equation will become t plus 1 over t equal to negative 6 okay multiply both sides by t so t square plus 1 equal to minus 6 t take all the terms to left t square plus 6 t plus 1 equal to 0 let me solve this equation I will this is quadratic equation in t I will use quadratic formula that is minus b so I will write minus 6 plus minus square root of b square so 36 minus 4 a c a and c both values are 1 so 4 divided by 2 let me put like this next step I will write minus 6 plus minus root 32 16 times 2 so 4 root 2 divided by 2 so I will get minus 3 plus minus 2 root 2 that is equal to t if I will replace what what is t so t is i e raised to the power i times 2x so e raised to the power i times 2x equal to minus 3 plus minus 2 root 2 now i have to solve by taking log both sides so i will take ln both sides okay let me write ln e raised to the power i times 2x equal to ln minus 3 plus minus 2 root 2. Okay, by the property of ln, we can write this power, it will come down. Okay, so this will become i times 2x equal to, if you will solve this ln, you will be having two values. See, this value can be written as if I will write in terms of E also, that is also true. If you, you are in finding this value, then you can write ln. I will have two values actually. I will write 0 0.172 and negative 5.828. These two values. Okay. Now, if you will simplify further, see there are two roots. So one root is minus 3 plus 2 root 2. And second one is minus 3 minus 2 root 2. Root 2 is 1.414. So if you will simplify this, the first one we will get negative 0 0.172. Second one we will get minus 5.828. Okay. Now I will write x is equal to 1 over 2i ln. Let me consider only one, first one, 0 0.172. Okay, and second would be x is equal to 1 over 2i ln negative 5.828. Both will give complex conjugate. Okay, so same result, only plus minus i times a plus ib. So it will give us a plus minus ib. So let me write direct answer because once you will apply this in calculator, you will be having x is equal to k pi plus 
1.5708 plus minus i am writing directly for both the answers 0.8814 times i this is our ultimate solution here you have one option that you can find out e raised to the power i 2x and then you can proceed directly and last term you can write x so this is up to you either of the method you can apply so this is how we can find out solution for any trigonometric or any algebraic equation where real solutions are not there then we can apply euler's number or euler's identity directly into that and that will convert into the ordinary equation which we can simplify further thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video